Hi guys, welcome back and we are eventually back in Empire Total War 2. Now I had a few issues with my save games where basically my save games were breaking the game, uh, causing it to crash. That is why it's taken so long to get this episode out to you guys. But now with the 2.2 patch, it does seem that that issue is fixed. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it stabilizes the game and we are all good to go forward. Um, so yes, last time we took these lovely um, pirate provinces. I believe we took three, right? Um, we took Trinidad and Tobago, Leeward Isles, or did we just take two? Just two. Um, but yeah, so we are going to hit the end turn. Uh, first things first, let's get a uh, colonial militia here to protect the um, port. And let's get going. I do still seem to have an issue with VDM in terms of the options it gives me are always... Ooh. Okay, guys, we just had a bit of a, uh, a crash message, but... It looks like the game's still going, so <laughs> what are you going to do except play on? But yes, that is the issue uh, with a lot of mods and, and stuff out there, especially for these older games, which is why, you know, the remaster of Rome I love so much because it just makes the modding scene and everything so easy, so easy to manage. You don't have to go into files. You don't need to do any of that. You just go into the workshop. I don't know why the AI likes to do that. Offers you nothing and wants nothing from you. Just says, hello, I'm here. <laughs> Would you like, oh, look, the Moogles. Oh, hello. And so you have come. No, we haven't. You came to us, bro. <laughs> like, we did nothing. Uh, but yeah, I do, do really like this mod. That's why I want to carry on playing it. If VDM continues to be an issue, we will look at maybe removing it and carrying on without VDM and just carry on the campaign. But at the moment, VDM is working, and it's fine. It's really fine. Yes, we built the governor's residence in Ceylon. We can keep on going. Let's go for the state house then. Uh, one more turn, we can actually get this barracks, which gives us a few more troops. Although a lot of them require military syllabus and all that. Social contract for the sepoys. Ooh, interesting. I wonder how long social contract takes. Oh, we got a rebellion as well in Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, God. It looks like they're going to take Trinidad and Tobago back very easily, very quickly. Um, if I move you out, you're going to get killed, aren't you? Well, we at least have these guys. So we're going to have to be... Oh, we're going to have an election as well. Fantastic. Looks like everyone's pretty decent apart from the grand pensionary. Who's a bit rubbish. Workers riot. So, yes. Oh, they've gone happy now, though. But as soon as we move out, they're going to be pretty unhappy again. They've all got good traits again. Very good. Recruitment, Ceylon and Cura Curacao. Three color printing. Fantastic. How are we doing on the research? I just want to make sure we're still going. And why are we researching grenades? That doesn't seem... It allows us some nice guard units, but that's not brilliant. What if we go for the military syllabus? It should allow us a lot of units, yeah. But what's more important, I think, right now is getting the plug bayonet. Does that increase any... Uh, yeah, allows us to group some of these. We've got Scots as well as Irish. Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. I'm guessing they are AOR. African Infantry, Early Line Infantry. Fantastic. Let's get the plug bayonet then so that we can do okay in melee. So we've got a new task, build a college. I believe it just kind of cycles through the tasks. Yeah, it's just telling us the tasks all again because uh, we've reloaded the game in. So culture's not going great, but we have a one religious level. Um, is there anything here? Yeah, just tasks, no dilemmas to deal with. First things first though, let's get our boys on the boats. Embark, my friends, because we have a rebellion to put down. And we're going to have to just keep kind of 
going back and forth between uh, Leeward Islands and Trinidad and Tobago, although they are reasonably happy now. Um, right, we'll get you guys off the boats and let's go attack these rebellious thieves. What do they have? Sailors free, aquabusiers, buccaneers, and Scottish rogues. <laughs> Look at that melee attack, 20. Oh, Jesus. The thing is, the problem with the Empire is they like to bum rush you with uh, melee troops when you have melee troops. Aquabusiers look pretty terrible. We can deal with those. But the Buccaneers and the Scottish Rogues, they're Grenadiers, actually. They only have 65 range. That's the only thing they have. So we should be able to shoot them, but... Like, uh, melee defense of 12, melee attack of 10. It's going to be tough. It's going to be actually really tough. Scottish Rogues, eh? Uh, as a note, guys, as well, remember that the volume is turned right down. So I know it's quite quiet apart from my voice, my grating, horrible voice. Um, but yeah, the reason for this is there is some copyrighted music in this mod. And I don't know which songs are copyrighted and which aren't. So uh, we, put the mu we put the music right down um, just for you guys. Just, just so that we don't get any copyright strikes, of course. I love these... Um, these battle sort of overlays and we loaded into a battle without it crashing that is fantastic i've got to remember that my uh screen isn't locked so if i go like this it actually goes onto my other screen where i'm recording from so i've got to remember not to do that i don't like how you can do this to start with but then you can't afterwards you guys are gonna have to do you know what we're gonna do we're actually gonna wait uh, we're going to wait for a little bit. If our artillery can do some damage to them for a little bit. I know the battles in Empire are long anyway. But if our guys can do some damage to these boys first, that would be excellent. We've got some colonial militia. You can be the soaking point for the grenadiers probably. If we find out where those grenadiers are going to be. Now these boys are ready to fire. Well, it looks like they have two units very far on the flank. The Scottish Rogues? How about this side? So we're going to have to really surround... Oh, that's just Sailors Free. Let's go for these boys. Actually, uh, Buccaneers would be a... Be oh! Did you get any hits? Yes, you did. Three units. Buccaneers. Let's go. Get this baby sped up. I like the fact that they're spreading their troops about. Where are the other Scottish Rogues? Oh, they, they were hiding over here, it looks like. No. Two units of sailors free. Where's the other Scottish rogues? They must be hiding in the, the woods over here. Hmm. Come on, boys. Mm, no, don't think any of those hit. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Ah, neither of them have been hit, unfortunately. Well, what we're going to do then is try and deal with those Scottish rogues first. So we'll move out the army to the right. Try and cut them off. March slowly, my boys. And uh, we'll keep these. We'll keep a strong contingent on the flank. Uh, just to contend with any flanking forces. Including the cavalry. Bring the general along, of course. How come uh, one of these guys isn't moving? I didn't select him then, I'm guessing. This is the one issue with Empire like battles. They do take an obscene amount of time. They come now. They're coming now. Uh, but two units of Scottish rogues, as I say, are very, very strong. I do love this Irish infantry. Fantastic unit. If they want to come and kill my cannons, I mean, it's fine. The cannons are not that useful anyway. <laughs> as you can see, they have hardly hit anyone. Oh, they, they've they killed a few more. Oh, they killed one. <laughs> they killed one. Yeah, they're trash. They are really, really trash. Like, obscenely trash. Uh, how far behind are you boys? Jesus. Right, let's keep going. Three, three thick, I think, is the best, uh, the best route you can take with these boys. 
flanking force, my friends. Let us get up here. In fact, the pikemen, you could probably do with being behind the main line for wherever they want to charge. Horsemen, let's go. But yeah, I do really love this mod, and I love Empire. It's not a hidden gem, but it's more of kind of a an unloved um, protege of the uh, prodigy of the uh, Creative Assembly, I would say. Oh, how it landed like right there! This is hardly killing anyone, bro. We've got canister shot now, though, so if we do get cannons, we can. Flail the skin off the, our enemies with canister shot. Alright, we do have good range. That's the one thing. I think we wait for everyone to get in place. How are you guys doing? Uh, walking, eager. You're not tired or anything yet, which is great. You guys walking as well? I just recently played a Napoleon Online battle for a while, for the first time in a while, which was actually really fun. And I would have loved to have brought the uh, the battle replay to you guys. But unfortunately, I quit. And when people quit in uh, Napoleon Online, it's a bit of an issue. Problem is, with these guys, we're going to have to get really close. And when we get really close to them, they are going to charge us, which is not ideal. You guys get there, get the cav. We'll get bring the cav out straight behind, ready to charge in to whatever problem or may arise. Yeah, they quit, and then you can't save the battle replay. And people seem to quit all the time in Napoleon, which is so annoying. Like, if you're losing a battle, just lose it. Like, do a Hail Mary charge at the end. Especially in an unranked battle. Don't be a little bitch and, and quit. Like, it's annoying. And it was a really nice battle as well. It wasn't like it, I just steamrolled this guy. Like, It was kind of silly that they quit, really. Yeah, not hitting them at all. Classic. Put it on normal speed now. Right. They can do skirmish mode. They're a foot brigade, though. Right, everyone reload. Then we'll get you in close to these guys. Then you should do some damage. Oh, while they're reloading, you guys move forward. They all reloaded. Fantastic. Make sure we put you all back onto fire at will. There. No, no, no. What am I doing? Didn't mean to do that. Let them reload again. Come on, boys. Come on. Reload. Ah, put it on normal speed now, then. They definitely have all reloaded. You guys get running. This is what you have to do in this game. It doesn't look like they have any of those... Where, where the other Scottish free guys are. Cavalry, come forward. Militia will bring you in just in case as well. They have, they do have muskets then. I thought they might not have muskets. I thought they might just have grenades. That's why they're grenadiers. We are, oh my days, look at their accuracy, bro. Oh, but, oh, look at that. Fantastic shooting, my friends. And we've got two more volleys coming from the sides. Yeah, nice, nice. They're winning slightly, apparently. But that was a brutal, brutal. These are the brave. Got the brave, and once again, they have shown their bravery. Well done, my friends. Well done, my friends. This is great. Uh, right, you two. We'll bring you here. Looks like they're charging. Oof. Yes, this is what we need. Right, you guys will pull you out. And leave the rest. The brave retreat. <laughs> do not be so brave anymore. First of all, cavalry will charge you in the back, and you don't like to charge, do you, boys? You don't like it. Okay, they're routing now, or wavering, should I say? Look how slow they move. Absolutely slugs, bro. Slugs. 
Aquabusias, Buccaneers. Where are those other Scottish rogues? Oh, they're over there. I don't know how I didn't see them. That was dumb of me. Alright, you boys. Yeah, 87 in this unit. They stood up to the enemy and they fought well. Well done, my boys. Make sure we see those Scottish rogues off. Alright, you guys. Come back here. You boys. I like how we can actually do the proper lines now, rather than having to worry about them all being spread out in weird, weird positions. How did the... The pikemen did well. Yeah, they only lost a couple. Are they shattered now? Yep, nice, nice, nice. Your cavalry in this is a good position. Everyone run. Come on, militia, let's go, my friends. Let's go. We need you to start shooting. Because these boys are coming in hot. They have Aquabusias. They have Buccaneers, which are a melee unit. So you guys stay on the left flank if you would. We're not going to be able to hit anything here. So hold your fire for a second, my boys. We can let the militia fire because they're actually trash. We'll wait till they get a bit closer. Alright, now we'll go. You boys... You boys, let's go. Get you guys. You guys really can't take much damage. Fire at will when you can. Where's the old general? I've forgotten about him. It's over here. Right, as soon as you're ready, boys, you fire. We'll bring you across to deal with the buccaneers. The buccaneers are very good in melee still. Um... What we'll do is, oh, we need to stop that firing by the cannons because they're going to hit our own troops, aren't they? Um, fire here because you probably will miss and actually hit these guys. <laughs> these battles are just so obscenely long, aren't they? But it's what we're here for. These Aquabusias are absolute trash. We should we should be able to deal with them quite nicely. We're not far away. Oh, they broke already. Get after them. General. Right, militia, let's go. They broke before they even, like, came near. We are on very hard as well, remember, so... I, think, I feel like we're doing pretty decently. I don't know why they're not moving. Oh, it's because they got two units overlapping over here. Sailors Free and Scottish rogue, Rogues. These guys took a bit of a hit. Let's have a look at these Scottish rogues. They're all ginger as well. Fantastic. <laughs> Just like the Irish battalions. Gingers versus gingers, eh? Fantastic. Okay, they've gone. Uh, we'll get the general to chase after these boys. Um, get him in melee. I don't actually want you shooting because apparently... What happens is that they uh, will bring the militia along as well. Now, let's go, boys. Nice wide formation. Pikemen in the back. Have you dealt with them? Yep, 13 left. Fantastic. You should probably, you'll probably be very tired now. How tired are you? Order terrible. <laughs> Concerned order terrible. They're still eager. Where's the tightness? Order bad. Order standard. Terrible. Why is your order terrible? Because you've got a few troops. You're just marching slowly through the fields. I don't know. That's interesting to see. Rather than... It doesn't say their tiredness, though. Guessing they are tired as well, though. Ah, these they are. They are just outside our range, aren't they? Oh well. How are you doing, my friend? Why is your why is everyone's order terrible? Are you tired? Is that is that why? Is that basically what tiredness has become now? Interesting anyway. We're close to their their lines. We should really be a bit worried about this. Confident. Yeah, I'm guessing that's tiredness. They've not lost any units in this yet. Be nice if our cannons could actually reach them, but of course they can't. 
Stupid mortars. It'd be nice to have exploding shot as well, but no. Because when one of these, like, balls just lands there, they just kill, like, one or two troops. It doesn't really do any damage to them, to the unit. But I do like the more tactical battles, but it, I feel like the, the battle maps on Empire are just so big. Especially if you're playing a mod like this where tiredness is a big thing. Order excellent, excellent, excellent. Order bad. I'm guessing because they've taken a lot of losses. Do Yes, they do rank up every experience point then, I'm guessing, which is excellent. Which is fantastic because in Darth mod, I believe they don't. And it uh, doesn't really make sense because the more experienced your units are... God, the pikemen are slow, aren't they? The more experienced your units are, like the better they should be able to fire, the better their fire rate should be, all that good stuff. Don't run, actually. Keep you marching. Get you there. General, let's get here. Cavalry, let's get here. Pikemen, we'll get you here and run. Please? Um... Do I want you guys to start firing right away? Probably not. We're a bit too far away. I'd like everyone to get in position first. So let's put you on normal speed. Where's the old uh, pikeman? Pikeman! Out of there. Nope. They're there. Order's bad. Excellent order for these boys. Right. Now you guys get in there. Get in place there. You guys get in as well. Yeah, they're starting to fire. Still excellent order, which is fantastic for us, I guess. Get there, let's get... Oh, God, no, 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 no. Oof, good shooting, my friends. So it looks like the 2.2 has made them slightly more accurate, I would say. I'm going for the melee charge, I guess. Unless they're reordering their troops. No, nope, yeah, they are just reordering. Oh, yeah, it's definitely made them a lot more accurate, which is great. Because it was horribly inaccurate before. Like, basically, they'd be stood here and getting one killer volley. Which does also mean that our troops will take more losses, like these guys. Starting to, yeah, look at those losses. Oh, well. Let's get you forward. Just in case they do that charge. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Yeah, they don't know what to do because they're surrounded, aren't they? Poor fellas. They thought the pirate way was coming back, but no. The relentless march of the United Provinces goes on. Goes on, my friends. Brutal, brutal execution here. But we are taking some big losses as well, so we've got to remember that. These Scottish rogues, they're a decent unit. Are oh, they going for the charge? Right, we'll deal with that then. We might actually lose a unit to routing here. Um, but I believe we'll be okay if we get our guys in. Which unit are you? You're the brave! Hold the brave! No, the brave has routed! You are no longer brave! But you stood in battle until you were 59 troops. So, um, I think we run them down. You guys get back. I want you to guys to stop firing, so just walk. Brave, come back. You did go down to very, very few troops. So, oh, they came back. You can't do that after the battle's ended, bro. <laughs> like, that dumb. Oh, my God. This Now, that is really all the terrible, like, all over the shop. They're shattered. They're shattered. They're shattered. Right. Let's uh, speed things up. Yeah, enemy general killed. Just want to make sure that we kill them all. I think that'll be enough. I hope so. They are just rebels at the end of the day. Just uh, rebels. Yeah, look how long that battle took. I think 15 minutes or so? Like, it's a long time. Well, we've won. 374. We lost 374. Let's see the statistics. Deployed. We are. It'd be nice to see which regiments these guys were. You just have to work it out. 
Um, so 54 remaining was the Brave. They got 51 kills. Um, but yes, some of them actually didn't do too well. The Colonial Pikemen did amazing. Melee still kind of rules. Oh my god, 256 for the Cavalry. Jesus. Right, let's get you guys re uh, nicely replenished. Let's get you back on the boats. <laughs> the good thing with ports is it allows you to move your troops a lot more freely when it comes to this. Um, no, 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 no. Ah, we just can't make it. That's going to be a rebellion. God damn it! It might not be, but oh well. I guess we'll see. Um, confident general. Very good. Let's see what other traits he has. Rumors of cowardice. No, no, no. That is bad. Minus one morale to battles is really, really poor. Like, really bad. Um, but at least these guys are happy now because the rebellion has been put down in their territory. Let's go for the state house down here because it's a money-making center. Look at these mines. Fantastic. And we don't even need upgrades to upgrade them. Just need money, which is great. Right, you. Might be able to stop exempting tax from some of these pirate hellholes. Well, you're already exempted because you were a uh, one of our regions. You guys can exempt. Don't need to be exempt anymore. You guys, I'm guessing you are exempt. Yes, you are. How are we doing here? Of course, you need to be exempt. Right, let's end the turn. Fantastic. Putting down some filthy pirates once again. That is all we're good for at the minute, apparently. <laughs> but yes, you've got to stress the slow pace of Empire compared to some of the other games, really. Um, like, even Napoleon, you'll be fighting at least one battle a turn, really, as soon as you're at war. Um, the thing with Napoleon is, though, the map is just so shit. Like, <laughs> the map, in my opinion, is just trash. Like, it's just not good. And like, I don't know. There's just not that many avenues to to conquer and explore. Like, having one region for France... I know you, there's one region for France in Empire. But you have these, you know, America and India to go at as well. So it doesn't feel as cramped and small and trash. But as I say, yeah, the rest of them just feel pretty... Like the Napoleon map just feels pretty trash. Oh, look. The Mughals have some uh, Marathra, Marathra rebels. I think we're going to go after the uh, Maratha. Uh, we can get... We, oh, we can get Hindu musketeers rather than sepoys. Why can we not get drummers? We are oh, we can have two out of two. That's annoying. Dragoons are not really cavalry. Yeah, we know that, but... So, we've got a couple of Hindu musketeers. We've got some VOC infantry. Three pounders. Are they worth it? I mean, we'll get two of them, but they are pretty trash. We can't get pikemen here either. Um, so, that's as many as we can recruit in one go. So, that's fine. Success of a saboteur. Oh, my God. Why would you be successful, saboteur? That's foolish. Ah, look, another rebellion. So, another pirate horde to deal with. And what do they have? Scottish rogues again. Royal Majesty's deserters. Courtesans. Royal Majesty's. And they've got a... Oh, my days. A 24-pounder. Woohoo! Spicy. Nice. Trade with Japan. Yes, please. Please. More tasks. Is this not just the same tasks every time? I believe this is. See, like, this is an issue here. Like, signing with the government, right? I don't get to see. I don't know whether it's even working. Like, I don't know. Progress culture, 10 out of 50. Nice. Very good. Right then. I think... If they go in there, though, they will... Do we have enough to defeat these boys? I mean, probably... Probably. It's going to be tough, though. All right. I think we sit in here for a turn. Because if they want to assault us, we should get at least 
one unit of help. It doesn't look like we get any units of help, but we can't recruit anything here, unfortunately. Because they, uh, the thing, with, the problem with Empire is because they rebelled and burnt this down. We can't repair it anymore unless we cancel that building, which is just annoying. They're actually reasonably happy now in the Leeward Isles. How are we doing in Europe? So, we don't have much line infantry, really. Demi cannons are trash. Uh, Sakers are trash. Three pound battery is trash. Bulk Lee's regiment line infantry. 40 and 30. That's decent. 40 and 30. Got some grenadiers. Did we get grenadiers? Yes, we've already got two units of grenadiers. We've got some elite infantry. 50 and 40. Very nice. Um, do we have enough cavalry? We got two, three units of cavalry. We want one more, really, of cavalry then. Let's go for some of these boys, I guess. 911. 920. Okay, we'll go for them then. <laughs> More blow guards. No thanks. I've I, I worked out that these guys are not normal infantry. Like, they can't plug bayonet. They can't do square. So, don't get the provincial line infantry. They're trash. Go for a Bulkley's regiment then. As many as we can get, really, in this turn. Uh, anything? Oh, let's get an ordnance factory, of course. And then we can build some proper cannons. And then over in India, we are recruiting still, aren't we? Fantastic. I think we go for Mysore and we just siege them out. Hello, Britain. Thank you for doing this. I don't know what it does. But yeah, stick down in the comments below, guys, whether you're enjoying this. Whether you're enjoying this series, whether I should carry it on. I'm enjoying it, so that's uh, one reason to carry it on. But, of course, it all depends on whether you guys enjoy it, really. Um, there's lots of videos coming out on the uh, channel at the minute. Uh, this week, we will have the top five easiest factions in Rome Total War. Slash to Rome Total War Remastered. The top five hardest factions in the same game. Why the Humble Pajama Boy is the most OP unit in the game. And I will let you decide or think on what that Humble Pajama Boy might be. And why they are the most OP unit in Rome Total War. Um, and then hopefully we've got these. And then we have a Paradox Game ranking video. Okay. So they are going for an Assault. Let us save. We've got to go... Like, this is... See, this is this is everything, like... <laughs> this is where I was uh, saving. Like, okay, this is when I recorded before. And basically, you save the game. And when you load it back in, a battle would cause the whole game to crash. Um, so, yeah, let's overwrite that. At least this is the tests I was doing to see whether spaces break the game. Whether... Uh, no spaces break the game and everything just broke the game no matter what the save was <laughs> it still broke it but we'll save there just in case there's a crash because you never know with these <laughs> these mods eh i kind of like their attitude as well in their responses to crashes and that it was like get a new computer Bro, I'm running a 1080 Ti. Like it should, Empire Total War should not crash it. Um, but what? Oh, why aren't we in the city, bro? Like I like the city, but at least we can just defend. Um, I would like to be out of range of that 24 pounder. It's fixed as well, which is good for us. This hill's a nice little uh, bastion of hope, I guess you could say. They're thin, thin lines now. This is going to be really tough. We might actually lose this. We've just got to maneuver well when they get close. I would like my cavalry. I think my general. My general's pretty trash anyway. Gives minus morale. Uh, no, actually, we'll hide our cavalry. And we'll try and go and take out their cannons if they can fire at us. So, where do we hide them? Probably in here. You're not hidden. Okay, it doesn't look like he can hide, unfortunately. Pikemen. 
course will get you up behind and then uh, general bring you here oh Jesus look how far away they are oh my god but one good thing is oh my god where are they oh, they're in this forest they're not going to be able to fire I don't believe oh my god they still can oh at the cavalry that's what's going on there so bring you out bro I can't believe you can't hide in the forest. Why can you not hide? Can hide in the forest. Um, apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. Just go here, bro, and we'll see whether you can hide. Stop moving. I'm not saying they're hidden. Let's see whether they still fire at us. It's 24 pounder, so it should be able to go quite far. God, this is going to be ages waiting for them to come. Like, damn ages. Are they able to fire on my guys, like back here? I think the mortars have a pretty decent, well, not a decent range. Uh, they are firing at them. Um, here they come. I think we leave our cavalry there. We, we're not in too much bother there. They generally are very inaccurate. Come on, boys. <laughs> Hurry up, will you? While, we're, while they're going, we might as well have a look at what these new troops are. So, of course, we've seen the Sailors Free, these topless rogues. The courtesans, though, we've never seen them. Um... How do I... Do I have to... Uh, I have to deselect these boys. How do I... Ah, uh, God, I, I can't remember. But yeah, the courtesans. They are... Look like melee infantry with axes. Bro, they scary. <laughs> of course, we've seen the Scottish rogues. Where's that fiddler? <laughs> what the hell? He's loving it. He is loving it. Uh, Royal Majesty Desserts. So these are like British deserters, I guess. They all look exactly the same. <laughs> and we've got more deserters. Let's keep that speed going up. Problem is, I don't want my cavalry to be too tired, but... I would like to go and just silence those guns. Now, if anything, to save speed in the battle later on. But yeah, of course, they have a, a time limit as well. Thing is, if I bring my cavalry here, they're just going to probably chase him. But, oh well. They did set up their um, order bad. That's because they're tired, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's the... Oh! That was close. That was just over the top. All right. Large garrison, 24 pounder. Big cannons, boys. These are some big boys. You would have seen them on the field, battlefields in Europe and India and all across the world. But 24 cannon is notoriously big. It is a huge, huge cannon. Um, that was their general as well. Oh, which is great for us because they're even uh, <laughs> routing already. Oh, my God. Go run back to the queen, you fools. You guys are just tired, aren't you? Oh, my God. They already like lost a few troops to that. Interesting. They, they started routing after they lost one man. I guess you deserted because you came under cannon fire. Is that why? Oh, they're running. Are they running now? I think we keep our air cavalry moving behind them. Always a threat. They can't do... Oh! They're actually doing decent. They're actually hitting. But as I say, without the exploding shells, they do no damage. Like, they hit... If all those shots were exploding shells, then we would have absolutely shredded them. I'm interested to see how these courtesans go. But yeah. Let's uh, keep moving, my friends. They're good order now. So I'm guessing they've recovered a bit of... A uh, bit of health. A bit of uh, vigor. Got to watch for the 
Oof. I think we charge them now. They're concerned. They're going to be concerned because we're going to charge them in the back. Come on, boys. Broken them already. Let's get into them. Going to shoot us, but that's no bother. Well, uh, okay. Uh, clicked off the game. <laughs> that's a problem with not having a... Uh, having a... Um, guarded window. They're shooting their own troops here, which is great for us. I will get out. We've lost a lot of horses in that. But we should have shattered these boys. And they're only broken. These guys are going to come back, aren't they? One of them shattered. Um... Well, that's unfortunate because we're not going to be able to destroy that army. Do we still... I say I don't know how many you have to kill in um, in Empire for the whole army to be destroyed. Um, yeah. We'll bring the cavalry away. You don't need to take too many more losses. I still think if we... Kill most of the rest of them, we'll be good. That is reduced their units by one already, which is fantastic. These guys don't know what to do now. <laughs> order terrible. Order standard. Order good. Order excellent for the pirate. Re oh. Oh my god. They're so much more accurate now. The cannons. So much more. I'm slightly worried about those courtesans. That's why we need these guys close. Where's our general? Bring the general across here really. Would be a good option. I want you to go chase down these boys. The Scottish rogues. Just to make sure we kill them. Having the general away is a risk, of course. It's not the biggest risk we're going to take. Oh, they're really accurate. Nice. Bombarding them to pieces. We should... You know what we will do? Is... Uh, while they're napping, we'll... Come forward. Come forward, get those nice volleys in. You guys getting your fire at will now again. I'm going to take a bit of a loss here to start with. Need the pikemen up in there. Up with them. Go kill those courtesans, please. Come on, the brave. You're down to very few troops. You're going to do well, my friends. We have killed their generals, so they should route pretty easily. Let's get there, actually. Nice, boys. Fantastic. Order. Concerned. General dead. Order. Excellent. Wavering these boys because they've taken a big hit. Be nice if they would fire at the militia rather than uh, our actual line infantry. Of course. Nice. Now we're in the thick of it. How's the general doing? Is he... Uh, how did you lose troops? It's because you shoot yourself. You're so annoying, General. These um, people that can shoot, don't use the, don't put them on shoot because they, they like to shoot themselves, <laughs> unfortunately. Who are you? The 8th Battalion. Come on, live up to the name of the brave of the 7th Battalion. You can't be beaten by the 7th Battalion, boys. It's true, there was a lot of competition in the uh, common soldiers back in the day between the battalions. And, um, uh, you know, there was a lot of uh, stuff going on, like we can't be beaten by that battalion or whatever. Shattered, fantastic. Didn't actually lose that many cavalry with that one. You guys get after them. What we'll do with you is, is halt you. Pikemen. Pikemen, get out. You guys. Oh, we have just run right past their, their, their lines. Why did we do that? That was dumb. But we can replenish after this battle, hopefully. Should bring the town back under order. Right, you guys. Let's get in there. Fantastic. What did the general look like? We've not even really looked. Oh, he looks fancy. Cool. I like it. Fancy. Right, boys. One last push and the battle is yours, my friends. 
Yes, kill them all. Kill these darn pirates. Kill them. Kill them all. I haven't got plug bayonets yet. I would like to trade some technology with someone. Someone that I'm not going to be at war with. Like Great Britain were very unlikely to be at war with. They do get into position pretty nicely. Pretty quickly. Order bad though for these boys. Um, oh, our cavalry started running now. How did they die though? They're shattered, yep. How do you die in the pursuit, bro? Like, stop dying in the pursuit. That's annoying. Um, do you know what? We'll quit the battle now and see whether that army, like, dies or whether it, it retreats. It shouldn't really have many places to retreat to, though. That's what I would say. Problem with rebellion armies is they get bigger the more turns they remain in the land. Oh, okay. They're destroyed. Fantastic. That's nice. And we should... Trinidad, now you're on strike. Bro! Go exempt them from tax. Religion and culture. Religion level 3. Fantastic. And culture's going up. Timely change. Side with the government. I don't know. It doesn't say we're doing anything when we do that. That's the problem. Why do we have inflation, bro? Uh, Netherlands, Netherlands, Netherlands. Construction report. Yes, we got this. What well, I'd like to build some more stuff if we can. Hmm. We need more money, really. It's surprising you make a lot of money in this game, but we need more of it. Now, the reason why we're recruiting an army here is because we should we should go and pounce on uh, Prussia if we can. Uh, what about Hanover? Could we get a potential alliance with these boys? Uh, Hanover. Quest trade. No. <laughs> what about Westphalia, I believe it's called, isn't it? No. Uh, yeah, Westphalia. Westphalia. Friendly. They're offering military access. We have to pay 10,000. I won't go 10,000, but what I'll do is I'll give you canister shot, bro. Five turns. That's enough to get to Prussia, bro. So, Yes. And let's go and take Berlin. <laughs> Watch this, though. As soon as we do this, I bet you. I bet you. I bet you Spain declares war on us. Right. First things first, cannons. Then we want to go for probably the cavalry. Only three units. Okay, four units of cavalry. Why do they why do they always go first? I hate the army organization in this game, bro. We get you two and then we want the uh, elite units. So, yeah, and then we have these Bulkley's regiments. Then we have more of these boys and then we can use two drummer boys and a pikeman, I guess. Drummer and a pikeman. And while we're away, I think we should it'd be very good to start recruiting some more infantry to defend the homeland, the fatherland, if there's any problems overseas. Well, we'll go for Dresden first. It looks like they've got a little army in Dresden. Thank you, uh, Westphalia. You have been a very nice. Problem here now is Spain might see us as being weak because we moved our army out, so we might have to come back. We got an open gem pit. Nice. Very nice. Ceylon should be making some serious dollar. And we are very Protestant right now as well. And they're very close to getting those units. So soon we will be declaring war on Mysore. Soon. Very soon. Trinidad and Tobago. We can't recruit that yet because they struck. It's only one more turn though until we get that, which is great. See? It's, you can see the smoke coming off. It means it's damaged, but we can't repair it until that building's done, which is trash, really. It doesn't cost that many, that much to uh, replenish these guys. How are we looking over here? Get some four-pounders. Let's get some... These Dragoons are a bit trash in terms of their melee attack and stuff, so maybe not. You are a very military building as well. 
what we should do though is upgrade the infrastructure over here if we're not doing that already it is being done already okay what about um, India yeah being done uh, Europe no 12,000 god damn well we'll do that anyway watch Spain declare war on us boys watch Spain declare war upon us once again Yes, yes, fantastic. Oh, <laughs> you see, see, we have to get our allies in here. No one joined them and no one joined us, including Westphalia. Well, we're just going to defend Amsterdam then. Like, what else can we do? Like, there's nothing else to do. They're going to go take that port. That's going to make us bankrupt as well. But if we can defend um, Amsterdam well, chase down them, then we should be good for taking Flanders. Um, we could also probably try and uh, sign a peace treaty with uh, someone. Um, France is still open for an alliance, I'm guessing, because they didn't honor the call either. But yeah, as soon as we moved our troops out, well done, Spain. Good move, bro. Yeah, everyone broke the alliance. They even cancelled their trade agreement with us. Uh, we'll probably move... Yeah, we'll move you guys. Uh, you... Guys, you can go out. Demi cannons. We don't need demi cannons in a fort battle. Well, as many as you, of you as, as can be. We'll keep the pikemen. They're going to be useful in a fort battle. Of course, we'll keep the guards. They're fantastic. Uh, we do need a couple of cavalry, though. I will keep two cavalry in if I can. We've got two cavalry already. I think that's a decent enough force. And you guys can stay out. You guys can go like... Yeah, you stand next to them. Lots of infrastructure being built. And a cannon foundry. Does that mean we can recruit any decent cannons? Why has it gone to minus one? That's what I want to know. Nine pounder, but why is it minus one? Open the leader panel and click the question mark. To, to increase stability. Um... Ministers, I guess. Question mark. Government details. Yeah. The trade tab. Doo -doo -doo. That's not stability. Question mark here. Theatre by theatre basis. No, it's not doing anything. Oh, well. Let's get a gem mine. We can uh, build another one as well, which is 10 turns though, which is a bit crazy. I don't know, why can't we recruit anyone? It's all minus one. That's weird, bro. Very weird. We do have cannons already though. Would like to get some more cavalry though. Are we at our, oh, we'll be at our uh, unit, unit max, won't we? I don't know where they find that out though. That's the one thing. Yeah, like, where do you find that out? First things first, though. Let's see if we can get a relationship back with, say, France. Ally of the enemies. They kept allied, but they didn't join. What about Great Britain? How do you feel about... Well, we're still allied with Britain. Uh, it says we are, but it doesn't say here. Sweden? No. I don't want to give you canister shop. How many troops do you have here? Mercenaries. Doesn't look like they have the best uh, units there. So we might attack them. Also, Spain. Can you not do that, please? I'm not doing a, a naval battle. I'm sorry, boys. Trait gain on this uh, admiral. He has a good grasp on naval tactics. And we got a sloop. Oh, well. Oh, well. A sloop isn't great, but it's fine. We've got a Spanish heavy war galleon. Oh, it's going to take a lot to replace these guys. 
So, now that we've kind of reached our unit maximum, do we go after Mysore? I think we go at least scout it out. Can we see? Ah, oh, it's going to be hard. Ah, dervishes. Why do they have melee infantry? Melee infantry is trash, man. But it's not trash. It's really good. That's the problem. Or we go for Bijapur. Do you have any allies? Just my sort. Yeah, let's go for that then. Let's go after the Marathas. Take Indian territory. So guys, well then. I think though that is going to be it for today. Of course, over here we can go after Spanish territory as well. I forgot about that. So let's go for New Andalusia as soon as we can. Uh, once these guys are retrained, we'll get them out. Go for New Andalusia. Or we could go island hopping and island... F um, we go for San yeah, I think we go island hopping. Oh, they've taken Georgia. Oh, well. Uh, but yeah, no, actually, you know, it's better to have a big big region. So we'll go for New Andalusia first, and then we'll go island hopping. It's going to take them ages to walk across there anyway. So, guys, I think that's everything for today. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video, do subscribe, all that good stuff. And hopefully, I'll see you again in the next video.